Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you so much. So we're celebrating. This is the Chinese as well as the Tibetan New Year. We're celebrating it really as the Tibetan New Year. That's how we've come to know it. And it's a very, very ancient celebration, actually, in Tibet that probably predates the arise of Buddhism in Tibet. So there are certain uh, shamanic elements, which you will see. So tonight, basically, we have three main things happening. Uh, we'll start, actually, well, in general, we'll start quietly and get louder. That's the basic <laughs> theme of the evening. Um, we'll start with a little bit of meditation and our traditional taking of refuge and expressing our wish that whatever we do be manifestly of benefit to everyone, including ourselves. And this is a period when we are told that all of our good wishes and our practices actually are multiplied 100,000 times between now and the full moon. So, eh. <laughs> How's this? Could you hear me before? Not really. Not really? Do I need to start over? No, it's okay. <laughs> it was. <laughs> the broadcast didn't feel. Oh. Well, Happy New Year, broadcast people. We're very happy you're with us, too. And we're celebrating Losar, and we're integrating elements, some of which are really very, very old, pre-Buddhist, as I was saying before. So we're going to start as I said, with a little meditation, with our traditional expression of good wishes for all beings throughout space. And then we will do some cleansing. Uh, in every culture, what you do before New Year's is you clean up your act, <laughs> best way you can, outer, inner, and secret. And we've got some yarn and dough over there prepared so that we can use the colors of the five elements and the five colored yarn to loosen up and dissipate any kinds of negativities that we may have that are associated with any of those five elements. And then we'll grab some dough with a sense that we're sending everything out negative in our bodies out into that dough after we've kind of, uh, mostly we just squeeze it and then we throw it out, and we need and we'll have somebody take it out, get rid of it. And then, universal among all cultures celebration of New Year's or any holiday, we eat. <laughs> and for that, we will go into the community room where the food has been set up, and thank you everyone for your offerings, for bringing food to share. It's a very wonderful it's what people do, right? That's how we live. We share our food. And we'll do a bit of a blessing, a, an offering, actually. We'll offer it in a traditional way. Jigme Lingba, who's one of the big figures of our tradition, will sing his very short offering, Tsok. And then we'll eat. And um, we'll take a moment to eat very quietly because it's an offering. But then we'll just eat, like, you know, in an enjoyable way. And we will distribute fortunes, which you will be invited to read aloud, should you wish, and share with the group. That is actually a big part of Tibetan Losar. Uh, people read their fortunes out loud and laugh hysterically at each other's, and sometimes even trade them. <laughs> or toss it away and pick a new one. I saw this at Kesan Samba's monastery. Hmm. Okay, hi. Well, welcome, everyone. Really happy that you're here. So we'll begin. I think, do you have your yellow sheets with you? Or maybe not? May we? Thank you, Kwan.
Okay, so we're beginning with a classic Four Boundless Thoughts, these aspirations. Shanti Deva's dedication, favorite of His Holiness the Dalai Lama's, really the essence of all of our intentions as practitioners. And then uh, Jigme Lingva's refuge and bodhicitta. And then we'll just sit a little, I'll do an invocation to our teacher and we'll just sit quietly a little bit, watching your breath, resting, maybe oriented to make some profound aspiration for yourself, for your family, in the sacred space at the sacred time, together. Okay. Start with the four aspirations. May all beings always have happiness and its causes. May all beings always be free of pain and its causes. May all beings always be pain-free and live happily. May no beings ever cling to those dear nor spurn those far. For as long as space abides, as long as the world remains, just so long may I be there, resolving all beings' pain. So just relax into that aspiration. I'll do an invocation and then we'll go on. Kyabda gelwanam tangyer me pe gandren sumden chinchen lama che ridzen jorme tupten jatsolam solwa deb so nyam len tar chin shru. So now you can feel that you are seated here with your father and male relatives on your right, your mother of female relatives on your left, any difficult beings in front of you, and the whole universe of beings, friends, acquaintances, animals, all around you. And you're at the center of this vast chorus of living beings, and you are oriented toward your own sense of seeking refuge, and you're the chant leader for all of these multitudes. In three real jewels, three root bliss filled ones, channels, winds, bright orbs, this body mind, essence, nature, moving love, mandal. Until full body I seek refuge. In three real jewels, three root bliss filled ones, channels, winds, bright orbs, this body mind, essence, nature, moving love, mantle. Until full body I seek refuge. In three real jewels, three root bliss filled ones, channels, winds, bright orbs, this body mind, essence, nature, moving love, mantle, until full body I seek refuge. And the luminous Lama before you in space now sends down five colored rays of light and these streams of light, as soon as they touch you and all of the multitudes with you, everyone here, we all dissolve into light. And as light, we're drawn up into and melt and join with the heart of enlightenment, the luminous Lama. And as this luminous being or luminous orb of light, we dissolve into space from the outside in. And then we reappear again from space. All the multitudes and your family surrounding you again. And now you lead these 
multitudes in a chant expressing your wish for yourself and everyone to really be able to rest in your own true nature. It's complete and perfect spiritual fruition, also called enlightenment. And the luminous Lama is again before you in space. Oh, like moons in water, sides deceive us. We ever roam bound in cyclic chains. So all may rest in their clear mind sphere. I raise Bodhi through four boundless states. Oh, like moons in water, sides deceive us. We ever roam bound in cyclic chains. So all may rest in their clear mind sphere. I raise Bodhi through four boundless states. Oh, like moons in water, sides deceive us. We ever roam bound in cyclic chains, so all may rest in their clear mind sphere. I raise Bodhi through four boundless states. And the luminous Lama expressing all the infinite qualities of wisdom and compassion dissolves into light, and as light melts into your own heart and mind bringing all those qualities into fruition in you. Let me just bathe in that a little bit and take a few minutes to relax into the kind of clarity that may become available through this chanting through our own positive aspirations, not like we're trying, straining in any way, but just, just resting for a bit in the moment, feeling your breath. The breath is an easy way to be in the present, letting go of any thoughts or worries. There's nothing you have to do or attend to right now. Let it all go. It'll be waiting for you at the door when you leave, but right now, Kind of pure land is where we are, place completely free of worry, stress, strain, danger of any kind. We're just resting and present in clarity to our own breath. If you lose track of your breath, and everyone does, just come back to it. It's always there waiting for you. And if you like, you can feel that the blessings of this sacred time, you know there are hundreds and thousands of people doing prayers now across Tibet in the lands of Tibet that are now China. Many, many prayers for the benefit of the world. So there are many blessings floating around. There's no distance when it comes to blessings, positive energies. Like the mind, instantly the mind can travel. 
and so can these good wishes that are emanating from all the practitioners around the world. Maybe some of those are hovering just directly above your own crown, your own head. Maybe as an orb of light, if you like. Maybe in the form of some enlightened being, if you like. And a gentle rain of luminous drops of liquid light, expressions of wisdom, tender compassion, rich presence. gently descending through your crown and melting into your being and awakening those qualities in you. Opening a process that continues, can continue throughout the year, throughout your life, throughout many lives. Liquid sunlight, liquid moonlight, liquid compassion light, however it appears to your imagination. Gently descending, melting away stiff places in your muscles or in your psyche, softening you. And you're still breathing. Just kind of taking it all in. This moment. Taking three more breaths, just, if you like, pay particular attention to the sensation of the beginning of your breath as you draw it in. We all know what that feels like, and now we're going to pay attention to it. And that moment of relaxation when you start to let your breath release. Just to make us more aware of that natural phase of relaxation and that natural phase of refreshment. Have some appreciation for the magic of our own breathing. And bring your attention gently to the center of your chest, your heart. And it's kind of luminous there because the mind itself is naturally luminous. And we'll sound the sound om, which is a sound of sacred embodiment and feeling that your sound, and you will feel it, the sound, and if you like, light as well, expanding from your heart throughout your body just as a way to Feel more connected to your embodied presence and let light go to every cell. It's not like you have to work at it. Just feel that this could be occurring.
Okay, now that we're embodied, we can stand and move to our next phase, which is, so our body is composed of elements. Can I, uh, clip it, I'll put it in here. Hi. <laughs> we're gonna form a big circle. Hi. First the yarn. First we'll do the yarn. Yeah, thank you. Exactly. Exactly right. Okay, don't worry, I'm going back there. Okay, can everybody fit in the circle? Great, great. Hi, do you mind if I ask you? Oops, take your hat off. Well, all right. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, that is the biggest ball of yarn I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and, trust, and trust Evan with that? I see. I see. This is a work of art. <laughs> Grace of Jerry today. So, which direction? Uh, we'll put it in both directions, uh, or I guess we'll just roll it this way. Does it matter? All right, then we'll go this way. All right, but he can still hold it. He can still hold it. All right. So you see that there are five colors, as noted. So in the Buddhist traditions, and also in shamanic traditions. Also in the Bun tradition, where some of this definitely comes from, we say that our bodies, actually everything is composed of five elements. And these elements are represented by colors, so that uh, earth is represented by yellow, uh, white is water, fire, of course, is red, uh, um, uh, wind is green, and space is blue. And all of these elements have particular powers and capacities associated with them. As some of you know, we've worked with these actually in our element retreat and with our, in our upcoming element Dakini retreat. So what we're trying to do is to open up the elements so that they will arise and flourish in our being and lives in a way that's positive for us. So earth... For example, when it's in balance, we're stable, but we're not rigid, for example. A water, when it's in balance, we can flow, but we're not a torrent, <laughs> overwhelming. A fire, when it's in balance, we have energy, but we're not crackling with an anger and agitation. A wind, when it's in balance, uh, we can move freely, but we're not like totally distracted and rushing back and forth meaninglessly. And space, when it's in balance, everything in our lives, everything in our minds has space. But we're not spacey. That would be out of balance. So we're aspiring for that. And Jerry, who's been guarding these scissors all year, <laughs> refusing to give them out, I understand, even when other people ask for scissors. Um, fortunately, she's done that because now we have scissors. And we're going to cut so that everybody ends up with a piece of yarn. That means these are five elements. The elements in their most subtle are actually light, colored light. So if you like, you can imagine that this is light. And when you get your piece, that's your piece, and you're gonna rub it all over you, wherever you feel you can need some purification. You know, if you have trouble expressing yourself, you can rub your throat. If your shoulders are stiff and you're rigid, you can rub your shoulders, your knees, whatever, your heart, if you'd like your heart to open more or be more at peace, you can invent your own, 
uh, cartography of, of where your emotions are in your body and just feel that you're enlivening all of the elements in you in a way that's going to work positively for you and your life. Thank you so much. And then, having done that, we will toss them into here. Okay. You want to clean up your intellect? Hmm? What? The, the scissors should be going around. Ah, okay. Sorry. Did you get? Yes. Okay. You know, wherever you have aches and pains, that's also elemental imbalance. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> next, next year we'll, we'll weave. <laughs> we'll have gowns that we can all step into. Okay. And because compassion is really behind the whole um, intention of our practices, we can sing Omani Peme Hum, which is the sound of compassion. It's the sound of the Buddha, who is the embodiment of all compassion, Avalokiteshvara, the central figure in this, central white figure in, in this uh, rectangle, uh, triptych, and also, where else is he? So if you like, we can sing that, O Mani Pemi Hum, while we're purifying. Nothing purifies like compassion. O Mani Pemi Hum, 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 O Mani Pemi Hum. O mani peme hum, 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 O mani peme hum. O mani peme hum, o mani. Can you take it out, Jerry? Jerry, could you take it out of the room? Thank you. Or somebody, maybe Kwong will help you. Just take it out to the by the door. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you, Deborah. Peme hum, o mani 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 peme hum. And again, with compassion streaming through our being in whatever way we can feel that that is occurring for the benefit of ourselves and all being, another purification. So women with your right hand, men with your left, you grab a bit of this dough and you squeeze it. And you squeeze it so that all of your nasty whatever of body, speech, and mind goes into it. And then we get rid of it and we take it out, and then we're done, and we're clean, and it's perfect, and that's our aspiration. Oh, money, pay me home. 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 Oh, money, pay me O mani peme hum, 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 O
mani pame hum oh 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 mani pame hum O mani pame hum, O mani pame hum. 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 Mani pame hum, O mani pame hum. O 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 mani pame hum, O mani pame hum. Mani pame hum, O mani pame hum. O 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 mani pame hum. Careful. Did you get one? Okay. Oh, mani pame hum, mani pame hum. Oh, mani pame hum, oh, mani pame hum. Oh, mani pame hum, oh, mani pame hum. Oh, mani pame hum, oh, mani pame hum. O mani pame hum, O mani pame hum. proceed to offer our food, which we will then eat, so cream cheese time is upon us. And, <laughs> and if you had booklets with you, take them because the uh, offering song that we're going to sing is in them. Okay, so we'll just go into the community room. Thank you. Uh, Gary, so I won't take this. Where's Gary? Do I need to take this with me? Should I? We'll conclude the broadcast now. We'll come back and do our dedication and read the names. Yeah, we'll but we'll conclude the broadcast. Okay. What we'll do is Can I do something? Uh, 
I ask precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. See me with compassion. I have no other hope. This dear human body, impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when. Hardly think on death, good and faithful student. Karma never deceives, so give up wrongful thoughts. Engage Dharma holy. I ask precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. See me with compassion. I have no other hope. This dear human body, impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when. Hardly think on death, good and faithful student. Karma never deceives, so give up wrongful thoughts. Engage Dharma holy. Jesus, 
I ask precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. See me with compassion. I have no other hope. This dear human body impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when heartily think on death good and faithful student karma never deceives so give up wrongful thoughts Engage Dharma holy. precious three gems from deep in my pained heart see me with compassion I have no other hope this dear human body Impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good? 
good and faithful student. The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when. Hardly think on death, good and faithful student. Karma never deceives, so give up wrongful thoughts. Engage Dharma holy. Precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. See me with compassion. I have no other hope. This dear human body. Impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when. Hardly think on death, good and faithful student. Karma never deceives, so give up wrongful thoughts. Engage Dharma holy. Yeah. 
I ask precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. See me with compassion. I have no other hope. This dear human body impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when heartily think on death good and faithful student karma never deceives so give up wrongful thoughts Engage Dharma holy. I ask precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. See me with compassion. I have no other hope. This dear human body impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when heartily think on death good and faithful student karma never deceives so give up wrongful thoughts 
Engage Dharma Holy. Precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. See me with compassion. I have no other hope. This dear human body. Impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when heartily think on death good and faithful student karma never deceives so give up wrongful thoughts Engage Dharma Holy. Precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. See me with 
compassion. I have no other hope. This dear human body, impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when. Hardly think on death, good and faithful student. Karma never deceives, so give up wrongful thoughts. Engage Dharma holy. I ask precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. See me with compassion. I have no other hope. This dear human body, impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when. Hardly think on death, good and faithful student. Karma never deceives, so give up wrongful thoughts. Engage Dharma holy. Yeah. 
I ask precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. See me with compassion. I have no other hope. This dear human body impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when heartily think on death good and faithful student karma never deceives so give up wrongful thoughts Engage Dharma holy. I ask precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. See me with compassion. I have no other hope. This dear human body impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when heartily think 
on death, good and faithful student. Karma never deceives, so give up wrongful thoughts. Engage Dharma holy. I ask precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. See me with compassion. I have no other hope. This dear human body impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when heartily think on death good and faithful student karma never deceives so give up wrongful thoughts Engage Dharma holy. Para 
I ask precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. See me with compassion. I have no other hope. This dear human body, impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when. Heartily think on death, good and faithful student. Karma never deceives, so give up wrongful thoughts. Engage Dharma holy. I ask precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. See me with compassion. I have no other hope. This dear human body impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when heartily think on death good and faithful student karma never deceives so give up wrongful thoughts Engage Dharma holy. Kunjo 
I ask precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. See me with compassion. I have no other hope. This dear human body impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when heartily think on death good and faithful student karma never deceives so give up wrongful thoughts Engage Dharma holy. precious three gems from deep in my pained heart see me with compassion I have no other hope this dear human body 
impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when. Hardly think on death, good and faithful student. Karma never deceives, so give up wrongful thoughts. Engage Dharma holy. Precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. See me with compassion. I have no other hope. This dear human body. Impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when. Hardly think on death, good and faithful student. Karma never deceives, so give up wrongful thoughts. Engage Dharma holy. Ah, 
I ask precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. See me with compassion. I have no other hope. This dear human body impermanence besets. Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather and disperse who knows when heartily think on death good and faithful student karma never deceives so give up wrongful thoughts Engage Dharma holy. I ask precious three gems from deep in my pained heart. There's no one down there? I don't know either. Do we need one? Has the book gone around? Where is it? Where? I don't think it's gone around. It did go around. I think it did go around, Gary. It went around. It has? Yeah. Hey, so do you need to write in it? No. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have your 
Are you going to speak? You could speak. Twitchy chair, devil. Up. All right then. It'll take just a moment just to sit again quietly. And then, well, um, Claire, as our umze, our leader of the chant, will lead us through the songs, the chants that express our wish to share the goodness, the good experience of food, of friends, of practice, of compassion, all those things that we've touched into this evening, purification, a little bit of fun. May everybody enjoy such things forever. So we're sharing. And may our teachers live long. Those are traditional ways of closing any, any session. So that's what we're doing. And we can do the Faithful Student Song. And we'll also do Ekansati tonight. She's got tea. Okay. So when we do, if Huang, you would do the honors. Oops. Um, thank you so much. Uh, good. Is Sharon still here? No. Mm. Are you a drummer? Ev? Can you drum? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> this is your big audition. Okay. When we when we do a kizati. You can, would you do the drum? Just in the beat. You can, you follow us actually. Just the same rhythm that we do with the bell, you know, bell then ekatsati tang, kansa kyapcha, like that. Just the same rhythm that we're singing. My best. Okay. Yeah, every other solo. Bell then ekatsati. That's easy. It's easy. Not too hard and not too gentle. Just very. Evenly. Okay. All right then. So we'll sit for a moment and then we'll begin our, our dedication. Just feeling all that goodness and your own aspirations for the year, for yourself, for the families, for the world. Just take a moment. Give it space. Your real heartfelt intention, whatever it is. You don't have to tell anybody. Just feel what it is. <clears throat> Three breaths, you can track the feeling of three breaths, settle down. <clears throat> So we'll go with the long life prayers for our teachers and Sangha on the back of the yellow sheet. Oh, 
Beata, Beata, do you bring me the book? It's right there. Thanks. Under there, yeah. That. Oh, that's not it. That's not it. I'm sorry. It's going around. When it's ready, bring it up. Thank you. I don't know. It's still circulating. The book? Yes, please. It was, uh, he's got it. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. Oh, Evan wants it, though. He wants it. He wants it. He wants it. Pass it to me afterwards. Okay. Um, so actually, we'll start with the dedication on the front side of this sheet. It says group practice prayers. It's the next to the last verse. By this good may I swiftly once become a great guru. Lead all beings, everyone, to reach to that very ground. Bless you. Now we'll go to the long life prayers on the back. In a pure land, and ringed by snow mountains, mountains, source of bliss and benefit for all, powerful dens in Jatsa Chenrezi, lotus feet, please stay hundreds of years, fill vast space with your activities. Om Swasti, flawless refuge, sources give blessings, teacher, protect your kind Dharma, Lord. Jure me to obtain jatsa, wondrous good, lotus feet ever deeds everywhere. Namo Guru, angels, three roots, Buddha's compassion, faithful Sangha and aspiration, May this prayer be realized at once. May there be a great fine new temple, great seed for all high practice learning, which having spread in all directions, male and female yogis everywhere, practice and further the teachings there. Would you like the camera? And the blessing on the back of the sheet. Mm. With all of you in mind, we light this lamp of clarity. May the glow of love wisdom shine within us, everyone, till we all rise forth born in one enlightened mandala. And so we offer these prayers for all living beings, wherever they are, whoever they are, whatever form they take, human, animal, and also very specifically for the people near and dear to us whose names we have just finished writing in this book. Sophia Gorin. Mm -hmm. I shall put her in. For Nita Medrick and David Bowie in the Bardo. For Bobby and BB, Julie, Suzanne, Joey, Larry, Carol, Bob, Sandy, Honey, Elizabeth, Jackie, Mar, New Job, Kevin, Eric, and Phil, Miriam, Malak, Fadia, Sam, Sam, for all those who are suffering, Y, K, Robin, Daniel and colleagues, Eleanor Day, Alexis, George, Helen, Victor, Roger Toller in the Bardo, Stephen Levine in the Bardo, Beverly Bammel, Buddy, Cheryl, Bonnie, Chip, Jennifer, Brooke, Jan, Dustin, Josh, Stephen, LaRonda, Halo, Gail, SW, Jim, Gary, Vance, Teresa for job search, Zibidia, Maredia, Jennifer Welsh, Gloria, Luona, David Brennan, Bran, Ariana Hyde, Paul, Middledorf, Martina Faulkner, my mom, Adam, Aunt Mary, Bia, Gerard, Petva, Hannah, Irby, Pat, Abby Prey, Sahu, uh, Mike, uh, Joan Esconset, 
Webster, my uncle, my mother, my truck, Rachel's mom, Veronica, Justin, Deb, Neve, Leah, Sophia, Goran, and the Bardo, Maria Elena and family, Max Panzer, Michelle Panzer, Kathy Carr, Gloria in three-year retreat, Mark and Elizabeth in, in retreat, uh, Tessie Y, Elizabeth Breuer, Stacy, John Cape, Linda Maria Miller in memoriam, uh, um, Deborah Yu, Damian Pei, and the Pei family, uh, Jennifer D for job. And gathering all this goodness in your open heart. Was sound the sound ah. So the sound, this open sound of ah and all the good vibrations and light coming forth from your heart center, filling your whole body, filling the whole room. And by the end of the ah, sending these good wishes, and good energies and blessings out to the ends of space for all beings. <clears throat> Ah. And to protect that goodness for everyone, we sing an offering to the Ekadzati, who's the protectress of the Dzogchen teachings, the exalted teachings of the ancient Buddhist traditions of Tibet. And now's the time to go to the drum. <clears throat> this is on page 31 in the booklet, by the way. And we're going to sing it seven times. Yeah, 31. Three times in English, one time Tibetan. Wait, no, sorry. Three times in Tibetan, one time in English, three times in Tibetan. All right, Kwang is going to do that. Yeah, he's going to do that. Okay. There'll be a little preamble before we start to sing. <laughs> Trust your deeds alive. Hong, Belden, Ekka, Zati, Dang, 
上上高就高不来。他们全都这里发烧，年纪年不人松手。他们这里是多少毛布？农村大哥更高穷，周围村内买了猪，空掉的那个大地蛋，刚说他们就高不来。上进多，这里发烧，年纪年不人松手。上进就是多麻布，农村大哥更高手。周围天雷马要住，红的表的那个杂地蛋，刚上跳就跳呼啦。上进多，这里发烧，年纪年不人松手。上进就是多麻布，农村大哥更高手。周围天雷马要住。Next, we'll do the recitation after dedication. On page thirty, things, sounds, minds are God's mantras, true forms, kayas, and wisdom in endless play. Through this profound and secret practice. Be one with the one taste, hearty lay. And now the faithful student song on page 33. This is a song that emerged spontaneously in the way of great revealers of uh, poetic texts from our teacher, Alzum Pela Rinpoche, <laughs> when they were repairing the very important uh, temple of Shari Hlakang, the temple which is the residence for the Fierce, the wrathful, protecting deities of Tibet. And uh, while all the while they worked on it, 12, 14, 19 hours a day, they sang this song. And so we, we treasure it in that way. And it's a teaching song, as you'll see. <coughs> I, as precious three gems, from deep in my pain heart, See me with compassion, I have no other hope. This dear human body, impermanence be says, Do you not fear your death, good and faithful student? The five skandhas gather, and this verse, who knows when, heartily think on death, a good and faithful student. Karma never deceives, so give up wrongful thoughts. Engage Dharma holy, good and faithful student. This false world receive, be free of attachment, pursue liberation, a good and faithful student. Your mind not too pointed, with unchanging faithful love, Lama walks with Loma, good and faithful student. Journey to Danjazo, when heart holds him Lama, there's no better guidance. Keep heart talk in your heart. Ah, oh, ah, la, la, ho, pleasing place on I offer. Ah, oh, ah, la, 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 ho, pleasing place on I offer. La, 
Tommaso, thank you all so much for coming and celebrating with us. We welcome you back. We'll be practicing all week. We'll be doing uh, Green Tara at 10 o'clock on Saturday morning. And at 11, there's an animal blessing. Um, yes, by uh, <laughs> insistent demand. I won't say popular <laughs> demand, but <laughs> insistent <laughs> demand. And uh, Sunday, as usual, at 11 o'clock. And uh, what else? Uh, as much as possible in the evenings. There's practice every evening. This is this time of intense practice. So, your, your, oops, sorry. Where is it? You don't have a. No, I put it up while I was singing. I don't want to. <laughs> so, um, as much as you can practice during this period at home or here, uh, please do. And on Monday, the 22nd, which is the first full moon of the new year, we will formally close the. Uh, practice period, and we'll sing more songs. There's a special full moon blessing for world peace, and uh, do that practice then. And after that, there'll be a broadcast for the uh, Dzogchen Ningta community, Rinpoche students, wherever they may be, and talking a little bit about uh, his activities. You're welcome to stay for that, or it's not required that you stay for that. Um, but just so you know what is occurring. Anything else we need to tell people about? Oh, on the 14th. You were, We're hmm. going to do Nandra at 9 When? In the? Sunday morning. Oh, wonderful. Thank and you. Then, yeah, so Anne's being very well, modest. I forgot, I actually. <laughs> it's not modesty, it's forgetfulness. <laughs> But on, also on Sunday, we have another party at Don Mountain to celebrate <laughs> Anne's latest book, Strand of Jewels, My Teachers on Dzogchen. And it's all about, it's Kate and Rinpoche's teachings um, with Anne's translation and commentary. And it's a beautiful book, and you can purchase it here, and she will sign it to you or your valentine. <laughs> <laughs> and we might or might not have some valentine-appropriate desserts. <laughs> <laughs> with lunch. So do come on Sunday and stay and eat and socialize and get to know each other. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, so thank you. Thank you, everyone. Everybody contributed by being here, and we're very happy. You want to say something else? And we have a retreat coming up next weekend. It starts Friday evening, February 19th, the Elements Retreat. Learn more about those pieces of yarn. <laughs> All the colors. And, and the dakinis who bring them even more power. Yeah. Yeah, and also our Teaching Tuesdays, and you're welcome to join if you're wondering if you can still join our Teaching Tuesdays this season, you can. Uh, first and third Tuesdays at 7 o'clock. And if you're worried about what you miss, talk to Jerry or Mary Scott, and they will tell you how magically what you missed can is in a time machine, <laughs> and it can come into the present through the wonders of podcasts and such things. <laughs> what we're talking about at that time, it's called the dance of spirituality. So it's a really, it's a basic introduction that is both basic and deep simultaneously and has something both for ongoing students and for new students. You're all welcome. And Claire. And practice. Practice Tuesdays. Alternative so, uh, Tuesdays are practice Tuesdays, second and fourth Tuesdays. Uh, we really welcome and encourage everyone to come together as a community and practice. And also, Claire is teaching mindfulness for everyone with a slightly different name this time on Mondays. When does that? Uh, February 22nd. Beginning on February 20th. Oh. Uh, it's February 22nd. Lots <laughs> happening on that day. Full moon day. And then continuing. Is it every other Monday? Every Monday? It's every Monday for four Mondays. Then for four Mondays. So... So please come, whatever speaks to you. Actually, everything we do here is quite profoundly integrated, including the Sundays, and it's all headed to the same oceanic expanse of uh, limpid wisdom and full-heartedness. So we encourage you to participate in whatever you can. And have a wonderful night, and Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year. Thank you. May the fire monkey be good to you. <laughs>